Hi guys, it's the How Did I Alone podcast. I'm one of your hosts, David Wade. With me as always, Mr. Matthew Williams. <laughs> we got some boy. <laughs> we do. We're waiting for Amanda to come yeah, Amanda in. The intern. The Slamander. Amanda. <laughs> I don't like uh, that. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the Amanda the, the Great. Yeah. Yeah, uh, apparently she's running a little late. but she's Women just... don't have names like that, do they? Slamanda? No, no. <laughs> I hope not that one. <laughs> but, like, uh, you know, like, Alexander the Great and, like, Henry yeah. VIII, it, you, they're yeah. just, they're not, like, Amanda the... It's always, like, Amanda, Amanda. the Chaste. Or, like... <laughs> <laughs> Amanda the Chaste. Hold on a second. We got a mysterious stranger is in the waiting room. <laughs> Wait, like Amanda's been incognito? I don't know. Unless it's like that fucking rag the Guardian trying to <laughs> yeah, spy on us. You know, the Edward Snowden shit or something. Yeah. Creative you know, probably finally heard one of our episodes and <laughs> well we how we trashed them for not getting number one again. Yeah. Well the they can always they could always uh I mean I can always kick whoever it is, so let's see. Yeah. All right, here comes the great experiment. Who is it? Who is it? We have to know who, who this is it? stranger is. Who is it? What the fuck? <laughs> it's the, is this the one from The it's, Guardian? It's a man with a hat. Is that Carmen San Diego? <laughs> we found her. Stevie. Hello, boys. <laughs> oh, God, it's Uranium Smythe. <laughs> Well, I think Uranium the Smiths, I guess. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's their black hair version. <laughs> yeah. The Dead Smiths. <laughs> Boy Division. Yeah. <laughs> guess we're making too much. <laughs> Why would you come back with an obvious setup like this? <laughs> an obvious setup? How is this obvious, baby? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we, we have fun. <laughs> yeah. Fun. What's on your uh, scarf? Oh, it's it's a floral print. Mm. <laughs> it's pretty pretty happening. Okay. Did you get that while antiquing or what? I, I got it when I was on my vision quest in the desert. I did a lot of mescaline. <laughs> did you throw? Is Wait, that the they got, they got gift up? shops in the desert. <laughs> yeah. You, you follow a coyote through the desert and then you get mescaline. Oh. <laughs> well, it just sounds like you ate an insanity pepper from the Simpsons. <laughs> oh God, we're, oh fuck! I, this, I don't know about this. I'm gonna have to kick him. I hope you didn't. Yeah, I hope you didn't brain your damage. No, not this time. Is the mescaline the one where you just like laugh your ass off and then throw up, and then you're one with the universe? Yeah, exactly. It just it it makes you basically be Matt Williams for a couple hours. Cool. <laughs> Rose. <laughs> I know. I am the I am the standard laugh. The, I am the canned laughter if you need it. Yeah. Yeah, you are canned laughter. I'm gonna take this thing off before it gets way too fucking hot. No, I'll leave it on. Fuck I it. got the cans and laughter. Hey. Hey. Yeah, we were like, yeah. Your hair back like it's legitimately yours because like it grew really fast for the three weeks we didn't have you. Yeah, I I was really just like crunching biotin. I was boofing biotin. <laughs> <laughs> just like just working hard um yeah it's uh it's been a weird three weeks to be away from it that's been weird not having you but uh i was and like then, i was like what do we do i'm what do i have to do stuff now and dad left and got a pack of smokes and never came back yeah <laughs> no, <laughs> and, you exactly no i uh it was uh, it was weird, at, like, because I woke up that one morning and I saw. I don't know if you guys talked about this yet. The like, <laughs> the copyright bullshit from the Guardian. No, no, we just saw a mysterious stranger. So we're like, is that someone from the Guardian or from that other rag? Creative, uh, creative loafing, or maybe just a random Twitch streamer that wanted to join. They all want to be here. Like, mm -hmm. fuck watching. I want to be in it. Right, well, you guys are gonna get ninja. He's gonna play Fortnite with you. It's gonna be great. Fuck yeah! <laughs> last night. That'll boost our views. 
Right, yeah, that's just playing as a character named Mancake. We just we need a blue haired twink to come in here and play fucking Fortnite with us. <laughs> That'd be yeah. great. We just have somebody playing Fortnite, not paying attention as we're all talking. Yeah, exactly. Just, just kind of fade just, in and out. He's just flossing in a suit in the middle of Times Square on New Year's <laughs> Eve. Like, what the fuck is this world? He, he's just commenting on all the subs. Like, thank you for the new sub. Thanks for the Twitch Prime. Oh yeah, we'd have to have like one of those. Uh, like, we'd have to have a GIF and a sound thing to go off anytime we got a sub, which would be never. But if it does happen live, it would be. What cool. watching Twitch is just like that episode of Black Mirror where the guy like rides a Peloton to get cucked. Yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, right. Like you know, you're just like trying to get like money through the TV the whole mm -hmm. time. It's like, oh, thank you, thank you for your charity, kind sir. <laughs> yeah, but like they ride the bike and then they have to um uh like that's their job, right? Like everyone rides. Well they ride the bike like to basically powers. power everything, yeah. yeah. And then when you're not riding <laughs> yeah. a bike, then you just sit in your squared room and your wall turns into just a TV. Then like watch your girl get railed out. Like that was pretty much the premise yeah, of Yeah, it was so. a it was real weird. I remember that one. I was like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> like she Cyber couldn't fuck. She couldn't yeah. get through on American Idol, so she's going to get just, like, wrecked by, like, we're, a tag yeah. team. We're pretty much there now. We got OnlyFans. <laughs> <a> tag team? <laughs> you got to wait for the Cash Me Outside girls' Raptor career to fall apart, so Jeez. you just get the gangbang videos. He's still holding on. Yeah, that episode, that's essentially, so he wrote a Peloton and then watched OnlyFans. Yeah. In his spare time. He, we're we're, we're there already. We're pretty much there. He, he peloton to being a simp. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, follow you E girl. Exactly. So yeah, well, so last week we did a, a we shared a video from The Guardian and I guess we didn't do it very um cleanly. Goodly. goodly yeah, I was going to say, which you're you're you have you said a real word, Matt. I'm sorry. Uh, kind of I'm bro. I'm like really fucked up, but um. <laughs> so they made us like edit it out because um they somehow they stumbled upon it. <laughs> I'm like, how the fuck did <laughs> yeah. someone from the Guardian see that we played a clip? And I guess there's probably bots that like scour the shit. You know what I mean? They probably have a a team of people in like fucking some Indian office. Oh. Working for pennies a day, scouring the internet. Yeah. Oh, dude, like your job when you were a Nielsen rating person, except for that, but it's YouTube copyright. Yeah, yeah, yeah except like with that, like the the content was brought to us with them. It's like go out and find our videos, the <laughs> farthest reaches of the YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. So they like did a copyright something. It wasn't a strike, but I guess it was a claim. So we had to edit it out. I don't even and remember what we did. We guys, oh, it was, it was from the McCain Manor. House. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah, the scary place where they like bury you alive and shit. Yeah, it was like I guess like the British haunted house, which is just them smiling. <laughs> <laughs> the big book of British haunted houses. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'll brush. I'll brush. It's just them smiling while their teeth are fucked up. Exactly. <laughs> Or they just bring out their cuisine. They're like, fucking throw all of this right in the trash. Yeah. <laughs> like some pork belly pies. No. Gross. I got some blood anus. <laughs> yeah. Blood sausage. Hey, mom, it's, hot pie. <laughs> it's easier to make the sausage if it's just straight from an anus. Yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck eats baked beans for breakfast, you fucking savages? <laughs> On toast. It's yeah. Disgusting. You got beans and toast. So like, Get some chip beef. No, wait, those are chip teeth. teeth. Like, yeah. leave me alone. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, we can say it because my habit. So it'd be funny, like the the first fucking Mexican who winds up in in England is just like, do you not have tortillas? Like, why are you using toast? <laughs> He's just looking around, going, okay. <laughs> Flour or corn tortilla or I guess toast. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, they're like they're toast or uh, do you have a biscuit? And they give them a cookie and you're like. <laughs> British what? guy's like, oh, toast starter. That sounds about right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Beans and toast starter. Why, 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 why you give me a chocolate chip? <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> said biscuits, so. He immediately just starts like. 
stabbing people. Just like just <laughs> he reverts, reverts back to a stereotype of a Mexican standoff. He burns his own food truck to the ground. Yeah. Keep yeah. me out of focus. Oh, hang on. <laughs> yeah, look extremely. There we go. I was just I, I found like, that's the trick. It's just like I go like hang on and it corrects. <laughs> it's like talking to a woman. You just put your yeah. finger in front of her, like, excuse me. Calm down. And, yeah, and then she focuses right back up. You know, like that's how I'm getting. Put a finger in the face. Tell it to calm down. <laughs> the, the, the trick is to just press the finger to the lips and just like, <laughs> yeah, slowly. Shh. Don't make any sudden movements. Otherwise, you just gotta be like, Shh. yeah. <laughs> They're like raptors, but with periods. Yeah. Then you give it a hard <laughs> seltzer. <laughs> Did you do what? A hard seltzer? <laughs> yeah, or a, bo- or a bottomless mimosa. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But then they'll only have two. Yeah, the, and you uh, spent $28. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was going to say, England takes the shrimp, and they take the poop shoot out and only eat the poop shoot part and throw away the rest of the shrimp. <laughs> this, this is good <laughs> veins, governor. <laughs> Got to blow the back out of this shrimp, eh? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Sounds like you're fucking a shrimp. <laughs> I don't I don't stop at eating ass and humans. <laughs> I'm a bottom bottom feeder. <laughs> Ask how go get me another one. <laughs> That's snails, Maddie. So a uh, mollusk. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I think, right? I don't know. Is that right? Maybe fact checking. Crustaceans. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> yeah, so fuck the Guardian and their uh, they're hypersensitivity bots, I guess. Yeah. Teach well, a robot to be sensitive. They're, they're hypersensitivity Pindar who stumbled upon us. Yes. Which, I, I mean, I do kind of feel appreciated where they're like, no. No. Well, what, what's funny is it's well, the it same was thing. From... Oh, sorry. I, I was just going to say, like, you guys did it. Like, I, they have the timestamp of when you do it. And it's an hour and five minute video. And it was 56 seconds or something. <laughs> so it's like whenever you pass judgment on a normal video on the internet. Well, because it's just like you realize at a point that's less than a 60th of the content. <laughs> yeah. Or like people but are they're, finally out getting buried. That's but all they're like, they, they better not monetize our 60th of their <laughs> fucking content. Yeah, and it, but it's like it was from like 2015. The article yeah. is like five years old. It's yeah. not like you're garnishing new views. Well, I guess you kind of are because we got one. But it's not like a hot story that's new. It's like this, yeah. this older shit. Yeah. Everyone's seen it. Like who cares if we make fun of it? And we weren't making fun of the Guardian until now. But <laughs> yeah, those this bullshit. Like the only thing every good you done was yeah, Edward Snowden. All right, congrats. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and then you chase that guy away. (laughs) Yeah, you broke a story and then pretty much exiled him from the U.S. Not even that, man. Like, they fucking, they lost Glenn Glenn Greenwald almost immediately after. Who's that? The guy who broke the story. (laughs) (laughs) Who's like, fuck you. The guy who went over Snowden's documents for like eight months solid. Yeah, Uh, I only know this from watching the movie, but like, I know, (laughs) you know, that's pretty factual. But like, the, in the movie, like, it, took them a while to convince the guardian to even fucking run the article oh yeah because yeah, like they were like you know they were like essentially in a hotel room in like hong kong or something and like the police a lot are, of blow yeah oh. <laughs> yeah like the cia or any government agency could just yeah. bust through the door at any moment <laughs> and they're like we need to run this article now you know because we're gonna lose everything and so that was the Allen guy that was trying to get it done, but Dershowitz? No, Green Vault. What's his name, Stevie? Greenspan? No, the guy Adam. Sorry, his name was Adam. Adam. Who's the guy? The guy that broke the story. Glenn Greenwald. Oh, Glenn Greenwald. Okay, I thought it was <laughs> Alan Greenwald for some reason. You think of Alan Greenspan? Maybe. The former Fed chair. Yeah, that guy too. <laughs> he was like the, the wrong answer is like I the smartest think. thing Davies said. He, he was <laughs> deep in on the the Greenwald Snowden conspiracy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> haven't run in the numbers, so fellas, and uh... <laughs> but anyway, so like the Guardian didn't want to release it, and it took him forever to convince him to do it. And they're all like, "Well, right, uh, yeah, we don't want to get in trouble." <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, 
fucking talk like they're chewing their faces. <laughs> well, no, because the, the same thing, like, you guys saw a couple, uh, I think it was a week or two ago with that girl uh, in Florida, the, the researcher with the COVID numbers. Yeah, like, the was fucking like, yeah. Under a yeah. house with, like, guns drawn. Yeah. Like, give us the COVID numbers. <laughs> yeah. Give us the stats. Because she didn't want to, they wanted her to lie about them, and she was like, no. So she quit and just kept doing her own research on her own. And yeah. said that someone hacked into, I guess, the, the Florida Department of Health website or something. She's like, I'm not a hacker. Like, what are you talking about? And then, like, yeah. her husband was there. He was upstairs with the kids. I think uh, the the hacking that that got involved was uh, it was an email or something. Just her like. own, yeah. She used like her own access, yeah, numbers and stuff. Well, you can also like look at trend paths of the numbers and roughly estimate that this is where it's going. It's it's statistics. Yeah. God, yeah, my exactly. autofocus keeps yeah, fucking I about, up. I was about to go. Yeah. Yeah. Need to need to. Focus, Davey, focus. Yeah, but just to <laughs> go, go, but I mean, going into not only a white person, but a white lady's house with guns drawn, isn't that like the cardinal sin of for police? I mean, like, that's they could have capped a Karen, it would have been a real problem. I, yeah, the outrage <laughs> of what happened with that, dude. Like, the um, what was what was freaking me out was that Nashville bombing getting no airplay whatsoever oh like, yeah on christmas people, like level the city block and nothing yeah <laughs> a quick unedited break yeah i had to get coffee from the door so we pause it real quick oh did something happen <laughs> <laughs> yeah the nashville bombing getting absolutely no coverage in the media whatsoever of course it didn't get coverage it's a bunch of white men just blowing shit up for some <laughs> reason that seems to be okay in america <laughs> <laughs> oh god, Dranium oh god, 100% that bitch is here. Oh, yeah, that's that. right. <laughs> Dranium Smythe, everybody. No one asked for it, but everyone needed it. So I'm here. <laughs> so yeah, what's the biggest bomb you've seen in Nashville, Dranium? I saw this white male up on stage. He had a goatee. Oh, in 2020, you're gonna have a goatee. <laughs> Fucking kill yourself. But he... I'm sorry, that's insensitive to people who attempt suicide, mainly women. But listen, <laughs> I, <there> were, <laughs> not the ones that completed, just the ones that attempted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Statistically, women use guns yeah. more. Because <laughs> it's insensitive to the ones that attempt it because they're still alive. The ones that completed, they can't hear me. So. We're out here trying, David Wayne. It's unbelievable. But. <laughs> Oh, so activity's killing me, baby. No, it was weird. Natural, like on Christmas Day, everyone was just like, "I got presents, bitch." Like, I don't care about this bombing. <laughs> yeah, that's that's ah, that's and, fucking weird. And meanwhile, Dude, this man that? goes out and unwraps himself from this mortal coil. <laughs> so, are you saying he's brave? No, nothing <laughs> a white male does is ever brave. When they land on the moon, it's only because women took care of them, so they could. Gotcha. If a it's woman true. didn't change Neil Armstrong's diaper, he would have never landed on anything. He would have just sat in shit. <laughs> oh, that's true. I've seen the movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, one yeah. step for man, one giant season. dump for womankind. <laughs> Neil Armstrong, you I've, son of a bitch. Yeah, I forgot about that scene where he was waiting in his own shit until a woman did yeah. out of it. It was, it was like a kiddie pool. It was like up to the waist. He's just <laughs> like, what do I do pool? with all this shit? <laughs> I need me a woman. Quick, give me a flat top shitty haircut and a polo shirt. That'll attract him in the 60s. <laughs> He just wanted to go to space to get away from my correction of his fucking toxic masculinity. <laughs> Pretty much. Dude, did you see the video for Natural, though? That fucking countdown video? Dude, no. That shit was creepy, son. You Dude. didn't see it? No. There was an RV that pulled up, and it's just, like, um, blaring, like, oh. audio. And it's saying, like, if you can hear this, um, 
get out of range. There is a bomb that's going to go off. And it's like a computer, like, woman voice, like, program. And, and that's why it, no one listened. Yeah, it's probably right. That's why they needed the cops. People would have listened if they heard a man. <laughs> if it was like, my name is Alan, please back away. People would be like, get the <laughs> fuck away from that RV. It's going to explode. <laughs> <laughs> Only because his name's Alan. You didn't even know there was a bomb on there. It's just like, that's an Alan? He's dangerous. Get away from him. <laughs> he probably broke the Snowden story. You know Alan. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Greenspan. He ran for president, <laughs> didn't he? Or some shit. <laughs> him and Ralph Nadar. <laughs> so, so, wait. They heard, so, they heard the female robot voice, so they probably ran outside and started trying to oppress it. <laughs> yeah. They threw flowers at it and chocolates and... They only paid 77% attention to it. So wait, so you're saying that if it was, if, it, if, if a lady had done the bomb, it only would have been 70% of the blast that that guy did? Yeah, it would have been as destructive, right? Unbelievable. <laughs> it broke him out of character. It's like you don't even understand Shiva, the god of destruction. <laughs> Anyway, with the hands that go like this or like this. I'll tell you what, Matt Williams. You know what ISIS you should be afraid of is the fucking goddess. <laughs> I'm sorry, geranium. Sometimes I take things too far. Really do. <laughs> but I'm trying to find video of it because it's insane. <laughs> You're trying to wait. Hang on. You're trying to find video of the explosion. That's gonna break the character. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. <laughs> no, what are we doing, you, Dave? Just want you to hear the countdown warning because it's creepy as fuck. Do yeah. Then they they put more emphasis on the song that was playing before it happened than like I don't know him murdering a bunch of people. It's the song after that really matters. When it's like anyway, here's Conway Twitty. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> From <laughs> far. <laughs> Well, speaking of speaking of bombs, I've been playing Cyberpunk 2020, 2027, I think. 2077, you're so 20, close. Yeah, 2070. There we go. Yeah, 2027. Because it feels, I mean, it feels like it's 2077. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, that that game has been getting shit on for, consistently for, like, the last month, month and a half. Like, Jesus, hello. Stevie yeah. disappeared. <laughs> and, uh... Dude, this has just been getting trashed. But like, I genuinely like the game. Have you played it at all? No. no. Oh, yeah, no, you don't have it yet. What's yeah. it like? Well, <laughs> so it's it's kind of like uh, Grand Theft Auto, but just more futuristic, mm -hmm. kind of. But uh, it's it's crashed multiple times, and like it, it feels like a Nintendo 64 game that has a bunch of bugs in it, but the bugs are really like more kind of campy and fun. Yeah. So you never actually like, get to the end of the game or whatever? Well, see, the only way you can really to, to get through it, I think, is just doing the side mission so you can, like, level up. Because if you just, like, burn it straight through, there's, like, no way. Because there's no way you can get, like, earn enough money or experience. Oh, I got you. Okay. What's this, Stevie? So I found a highly problematic tweet. I would like to share it with you. Everyone should go and cancel Pigeon Fancier. I don't think their pigeons are fancy at all. Yeah. This person... Came out here and said, my sister is trying to name her son Adolf, not for the reason you'd expect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, why don't you read this, David Wayne? <laughs> I'm not pregnant, but thought maybe some of you could provide some insight. My sister is seven months pregnant and wants to name her son Adolf. <laughs> Already, good start. I like it. Mm -hmm. No, she's not a Nazi. Apparently, she is deliberately giving him a problematic name problematics in quotes so that he can experience what other kids from less privileged backgrounds experience oh i begged her not to do this over facebook messenger and she sent me this <laughs> is it a, uh -oh, so, is caps? let me just oh, first say <laughs> let me just first say any white person who says they're not a nazi it's like being a racist you're still a nazi <laughs> yeah it's systematic systematic nazism yeah, I mean, I get it, dude, because, like, I felt name privileged because I'm named David, which is, like, a biblical name, you know? Same here. Because so, you killed the Goliath, and the Goliath is yourself. Exactly. So, I have experienced, <laughs> you know, and maybe if my mom had named me 
um, you know, Mussolini or something, maybe then I might have a harder time. Paul <laughs> maybe maybe Genghis, Genghis Swain, if you wanted to culturally appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> I know, like or Paul Joseph, Paul like if I was named Joseph after Joseph Stalin, you know, maybe yeah. then I'd uh, understand people with less privilege. So Joseph is not from the Bible. No, I, well, yeah, but it, I don't think it's got it. <laughs> it's spelled differently because you know it's Russian, right? I don't know. Yeah, it's spelled Joseph. With, it's spelled with an R. <laughs> yeah, Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Riff. <laughs> Cyrillic. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, so, uh, don't you make pockets out of that? Huh? <laughs> so, 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 so this really? is where it keeps going. I I appreciate you caring about the baby this much, but parenting amid this divided world must be radical. White parents cannot sit idly by and allow their children to take up space and snatch opportunities away from those who deserve it more. Uh... What? Facts. <laughs> will the name Will the name Adolf prevent him from getting a few jobs? I'm sure it will. No, no, because that will give him the a, every single interview. They'll be like, I have to meet this guy. I bet it'll give him jobs at the Amtrak. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Yeah, but I don't, I don't think he can be like a you know a tour guide at the fucking Holocaust Museum. So who knows it better, yeah, David Wayne? Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. I guess that's true. He wouldn't know him better. <laughs> you were like, and over here, you could see what I, what my, uh, well, what the Germans did. <laughs> oh, that's the point. It won't make him unhirable everywhere, but it will give employers time to pause and stop to think perhaps this job should go to someone from a marginalized community. BIPOX, which sounds like a disease. That's fun. What's yeah. box box? <laughs> what is a bi? No, I've never seen bipox. I got vaccinated for my bipox. <laughs> yeah, what is that, dude? <laughs> I send my kids to another friend's house so they could contract the bipox and be immune. <laughs> bipox party? Yeah. Herd immunity, H E R G. <laughs> bipox sleepover. <laughs> is bipox that a dis- sounds like a company Wait. name in a in a computer game? Like Wait, it's so is that a disease that has you sleep with both sexes? <laughs> that makes you break out in hives. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh man. <laughs> BIPOC struggle with judgment over their names and to give my weight as far as I know. <laughs> what? <laughs> Does she not know what, what color the dick was? <laughs> what you... She said so many dicks in there, it's hard to tell. We'll have to see when it comes out. It could be anyone. <laughs> So what, is he going to come out and just start yelling, stop oppressing people? At him? I'm, yeah. I'm raising this child family style. It's like, yeah. <laughs> it it's, could be everyone. It's like when you get a, a mystery um, Airheads. You don't know what flavor it's going to be. <laughs> mystery yeah, Airheads are white, white. though. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they have actual mystery yeah. ones, don't they? That like, yeah. They're, yeah, they're they white, do. but they taste like different flavors. <laughs> white mystery, that's the point. You're going to have to lick your child to see which father it was. Yeah. Thanks. What I what I would do is I'd squish it from one side so it all goes to one off to one side so all the happiness is at you know like his head or his feet. <laughs> She's like, I remember this load. This tastes like Eugene. Ew. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I I I, <laughs> I recognize this goose head IPA. Yeah. <laughs> as far yeah. as I know, cis male son an easy name like Peter. Just perpetuates the oppression from which he benefits. You cannot truly be anti-racist unless you're willing to put others in front of yourself and your kids. Adolf will be a better man for it. Bitch, you don't know he's going to be a man. That's you might thing. have a trans woman in your vagina right now. Yeah, that's one. And number two, you don't know. What if this kid fucking embraces like Nazi? Like, what if you're just like, <laughs> I'm going to lead into this shit. You know, yeah, like, the kids, what if it's just like, a piece of shit kid? Awesome. Yeah, he's just a piece yeah, of shit kid, so he's just like, you know what? Fuck it. My name's already Adolf. People already look at me like that and just shaves the mustache. You know, gets How hair. young is he shaving mustaches? <laughs> well, you know, in, in, in his 20s. like <laughs> Just, w- just w- in, in kindergarten, he's like farting on the other kids. Like, I'm guessing that. 
Well, people I'm, like Adolf. Adolf, you can't guess your classmates. <laughs> not that early on, but you know, like when people get bitter resentment towards shit, like their twenties, because yeah. they're like, ah, I wouldn't, you know, I tried to do this. I got they wouldn't accept me to Harvard because my name was Adolf and it was problematic. I don't think it would start at twenty. It would probably start earlier. Like, dude, start hating your parents. She, come on, like. 13, I, I, 14, like once you start getting that's true photos. and in in middle school you, that's kind of when you start learning about world war ii probably so yeah. they're gonna be like mom why the fuck did you name me this? <laughs> <laughs> the other well with the internet now so it might be different then he might get teased earlier on yeah, but i just remember me. being in school and if i was in like middle school when we're learning about world war ii and i'm like adolf wait a minute <laughs> Dude, your parents fucking hated you, bro. <laughs> like, That's when David like just starts seeing the math equations flying by. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because like he's got uh, beakers and there. flasks. He's like Adolf. <laughs> yeah, and, and you're talking about. Yeah, I got those science glasses with the little like <laughs> pop up vents on them. You know what I'm talking about? The green yeah. ones. I had those. I had to buy them. Because well, like, well, you, you know, the my kids. god. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, puts on glasses just to take Here's them off. The thing. People that are doing, <laughs> in, in my mind, people that are, like, stupid enough to fucking do shit like this, this yeah. kid's probably going to private school his whole life anyway. Can I just address the fact that Adolf is a white kid's name? Like, she's not, she's not giving him the disadvantage she thinks he is. Right. Yeah, name him <laughs> Jamal. Yeah. Or Jaquavius. <laughs> Yeah. The, the funniest thing would be that if Adolf yeah. gets drafted to the NBA or something. <laughs> yeah. First yeah. round draft pick for the Supersonics, Adolf Henderson. <laughs> She's like, just call me Harry. Here's the thing. Like, I could see a black person naming their kid Adolf. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I just could see that more so than a white person. Just taking it back. Well, like, yeah, I could just, just imagine that kid. Just be like, I already hate us anyway, and then just fuck, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's just, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> fuck my kid, yeah. I, like, I could just imagine that kid coming home, and, or just on, like, one random weekend, just, you know, putting up uh, Schindler's <laughs> list, and then just being like, look what you did. <laughs> <laughs> You're grounded for at least a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, like the the cop pulls over the black guy pulls out his ID and he sees Adolf. He's like, "Fuck yeah, brother!" He just shows him his Iron Cross. <laughs> the cop. <laughs> he's he's like, like he's like a license and registration. He hands him uh, his registration and mind comp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did you yeah. He's like, "Oh, carry on, son." <laughs> just like lets him go. Adolf, bet fam. <laughs> <laughs> Like, look at her reply the right there. Look at her reply. Getting a giant swastika tattooed on my forehead so that the lack of job opportunities will make me truly understand the plight of BIPOC folks. Uh, yeah, the X Which is in weird. BIPOC is great. And not only that, it's a swastika. You didn't say a Nazi swastika. Because <laughs> isn't it different? Oh, no, I could be wrong. Well, but the, the Indian... Uh, it's, it's not it's not a swastika. It's not a swastika. That's right. It's called something else. That's right. Yeah. So swastika, it was specifically for Nazis. Okay. Yeah. It's it's like on the Nikes that you get from Times Square. It's like it's not really a swoosh. It's a swish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a swish or something. <laughs> it's a check mark. So, hold on. Quick. Hold on. I want to show this countdown video real quick, just because it's creepy as shit. Oh, God. So we're gonna get flagged again. No, Classic baby. It's going to be like 30 Deeply seconds. Deeply problematic bear. But it's from a news channel 5, so maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Well, they're going to be coming after us, too. Yeah, we're going to have to go after them. <laughs> Deeply problematic bear should be... The, I, that should be the name of the episode or Davey's next ska band. <laughs> Deeply Davey's problematic album. bear? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you listen to D, <laughs> DPB? Can you guys see it? <laughs> yeah. All right. Did, do uh, they sing Breakfast at Tiffany? Is that bad? <laughs> that was Deep Blue something. <laughs> Deep Blue Davy. Deep Blue Davy. All right, here we go. Listen how creepy this shit sounds. Crank that Davy boy. Yeah, hear it? Nope. More. More power. 
I can't hear anything. No. All right, it's saying this area must be evacuated now. Can you hear it? Nope. No. Nope. You couldn't hear it at all? Crank that. Oh. All right, hold on a sec. It's loud as fuck. It's loud oh. as fuck in my headphones, so let me turn that shit down real quick. <laughs> All right, we'll turn this down, but it's cranked up for you guys. Can you hear it? Yeah. Faintly. Oh, well, now it just sounds like dead air. Well, can you hear it? Evacuate the area now. It's saying this area must be evacuated now. Uh, All right, but never mind. Yeah, that it sounds like something that, uh, like, well, it's like... It's like bing, it's like a boom, and then it's like like a beep, and then it's like this area must be evacuated now, and then it's like bing, this area must be evacuated now, and it keeps counting yeah. down, and then or no, it keeps saying that, and then eventually it changes to a countdown, and when it gets to zero, on this video camera you see the explosion, like it's fucking insane. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like the like the purge. That's something. yeah, that's what it reminded me of, dude. Like just watching it because it's like you know it's like six in the morning in Nashville and it's just all like eerie. Oh, six in the morning. That's when it happened. You have the decency to do it at night. Come on. Well, no, I think they what I think that's why they did it, um, because it'd be like minimal casualties. Because who the fuck's gonna be down at this building at six in the morning? You know what I mean? Uh Starbucks barista on Christmas Day. There's no Starbucks baristas. <laughs> In that area, yeah, it's just all it's an AT&T building, just someone going in to make a fucking call brew and does a kaboom. <laughs> no, I'd be mad. I'm like, Jennifer, did you finish that yet? <laughs> just pull a finger out, oh. <laughs> two <laughs> fingers of cold brew. Finger that, yeah. <laughs> I mean, two fingers of espresso, two fingers cold brew on the rocks, darling. <laughs> I have to make the ball is that it? <laughs> oh, is that, wait, you're using like a unit of measurement fingers? Is that what you mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's how some people used to order like whiskey and shit. They get two fingers of whiskey. I don't know. What is that? So it's just like that tall in the glass? Yeah. Okay. Which is really fun when you have a fat bartender. <laughs> it's, it's like you're, you're over serving everybody. Like, I'm going to have to fire you. Or because I'm fat. Yeah, you're serving fucking <laughs> gallons of liquor every day. He's like, put up three fingers. Yeah, that's more than a shot. He's these sausage fingers. Like, we need someone with a piano fingers in this bitch. <laughs> Real skinny. Yeah. Like, they order a heart player. <laughs> like, yeah. A girl has to get up on a, a step stool. No, no. Little people have little chunk fingers. Yeah. So they're like mini sausages, like Vienna sausages. Yeah. Nobody above six foot allowed to serve in this bar. <laughs> they just want the anorexic or the bulimic who can get all the way back to the uvula. That's what I'm like, saying. That's like, my girl. <laughs> piano fingers are really like long and bony. So like two fingers worth would only be like one of my normal fingers. <laughs> she's, she's got them uvula punching fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, well, actually, I want that as a special skill for Davey. If I were to say normal fingers. <laughs> <laughs> normal fingers, Wayne. Yeah, yeah, David, normal fingers, Wayne. Is that my rap name? <laughs> I don't know. You can... <clears throat> Instead of sticky fingers from Onyx? <laughs> normal hey, fingers? Hey, here comes normal fingers. The guy with nothing wrong with him. Can I just say, while we're talking about rap, it's so sad that MF Doom passed. And it's so sad we had to that find out so... two months after the fact. Yeah, that oh, was yeah, weird. That. He died was... on Halloween. I know. Him it's, and my grandma. The guy that wears a mask died on Halloween. Man, now I have one reason to be upset. And like him and my grandma, and now it's sad. Yeah. <laughs> the same year? No, no, my grandma was 2016. Oh, okay. Ah, that's old. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, th- I was just waiting for somebody to write. She was, she was 94, so we're still waiting for the autopsy. <laughs> yeah. Got to, got to see if anything happened. You know, could probably investigate that. The Guardian. <laughs> no. Alan no. Greenspan. I don't yeah. know that. He's, he's, he became a PI after his time at the uh, The Fed. Fed. Yeah. <laughs> Alan Greenspan. Gumshoe. <laughs> he's a sleuth. They always got funny words like that. And then why'd they wear the hat with the two bills? It never made sense. Hat with the two bills. You know, they had the hat that had uh, like a bill here and the one in the back. The Sherlock Holmes hat? Yeah, that thing's retarded. <laughs> What's the point of that shit? The man in the yellow hat. hat. <laughs> I, I two don't bills. Want, I don't want water in my eyes and I don't want water on my neck. Like, what the fuck is this? Who cares about your back? Like, 
is like, it's like ducks had it right, but they only had it half right. It, it's it's his cunnilingus hat. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a little penis version. It's just a little brim. It looks like an umpire hat, like on each side. I went there when she goes squirting. It doesn't get all over my fucking do. Get my dapper Dan. <laughs> <laughs> they, they always have a magnifying glass, like, hmm. <laughs> like a trench coat. Like it just, I don't get that like Inspector Gadget, you know, gumshoe sleuth look. It's right. Like, uh, I never, I didn't get it. Kind of like a reporter, I guess. What's the scoop, Modge? <laughs> they always had that fedora. Yeah. I just picture sure. Knox from fucking Batman, and that's that's like. <laughs> whenever I think of a reporter, it's that dude. Like that's just what I see. Yeah. Just so like Matt, whenever I see a tennis player, Filipino, I just assume <laughs> that's what they are. Are Are you aware of your dad's friends becoming the state's enemies? <laughs> <laughs> I have like to say something like that now. Is it like daddy doing the Lord's work? <laughs> Oh, this is like upstate New York. They don't know how to handle that. No, it's New York, New York City. Oh, New York City. Yeah, they only know how to handle fucking. Who you know, had danger rats? Rats <laughs> and minorities. They don't know how to handle squirrels. <laughs> you can't stop and frisk a squirrel three times a day. <laughs> is that right, Bloomberg? He's tried. Trust me. Oh, I, I for one. Squeak. Listen, in my in my house in Flatbush, I am so happy that the squirrels are finally taking back what was theirs from the invasive species known as man. That's right. What was theirs? All these buildings that they built <laughs> with all the squirrels. <laughs> There's a lot of squirrel business going on in New York City. The squirrel buildings. Yeah, you know they built. Guggenheim yeah, little, and all little hard hats and shovels and shit. Didn't you see the squirrels atop the I beams when they were constructing the Empire State Building? Yeah, yeah they're just like squeaking across it. <laughs> Squirrel Native, Native American. <laughs> they're tiny little lunch boxes. Yeah. <laughs> little hard hats on and shit. Squanto was a squirrel. <laughs> oh, this is in Queens. Okay, so when they did a. Uh the world's fair or whatever that was all built by squirrels so these are these are working class squirrels <laughs> delivery men factory workers mm -hmm. police Probably which i don't squirrels. like bastard squirrels <laughs> <laughs> all squirrels are bastards yeah asob or whatever <laughs> all squirrels are bad <laughs> it's fucking asabs that sounds almost racist. It's, like, oh, yeah. hey, Sabs. it's too close. It's too close. It's too close. It's too close, man. So, her bite wounds got attacked by. Wait, are they rabid? Her, her bite wounds are healing after she was attacked by a squirrel one week ago. One week since I've been bit by a squirrel. <laughs> it's for him. <laughs> it's been one week since you looked at me, ran up my leg, and got to my knee. <laughs> <laughs> Mall made for the bitches. Chinese Chinese chicken. <laughs> Get my arm off now, my. <laughs> Five days since I laughed at you. I... Squirrel said, "Bitch, you just wait till I chew you." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Bare naked squirrels. <laughs> yeah. You hear someone's been bit by bitten by a squirrel. You're like, okay, you got a blood. little. What's the big deal? But this was this was an MMA cage match, <laughs> and I lost. <laughs> this guy got squirrel's got us. fingerless gloves on. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Squeakums is ready. <laughs> yeah, he put for three minutes. <laughs> right. You're going nowhere. <laughs> He's fucking. Central Park's the octagon, bitch. Yeah. You're in my world now, Grandpa. You fucking... <laughs> so, oh, it's a girl. I'm sorry. Yeah. I like this, too. The squirrel totally unprovoked is like... Like, anyone was like, well, what did you do to make the squirrel yeah. bite you? Yeah, well, what were you wearing? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I was just I walking was along. Walking. Sure you were. Sure yeah, you were just walking along. Were so you now you had home? entrance music. And you, the gym that you trained at was listed at the bottom. You did a weigh-in. Next thing you know, you're in the octagon. <laughs> you, you crunched two cans together. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I heard broken glass. Yeah, I couldn't These candy-ass squirrels running through the streets. 
Going to knock down their tray, their tree with a kick to the chops. And that's the bottom line because Micheline said so. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? He just kept saying what. She kept saying what. <laughs> he used to do that. Ah, <laughs> uh, got stone cold. Who's the one? The one guy does like the the rotation of the hand before they put it over. Is that John Cena does that? No, that was um Ultimate Warrior. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. I thought it was every professional. They all kind of do that actually. Now that I think about it, uh, Hulk Hogan used to do it. Yeah, th- there's nothing original in wrestling anymore. No, Hulk Hogan was an old mother. Like his finishing move was a leg drop. <laughs> yeah, that's how you know you're an old wrestler when it's just a regular ass shit. Just like Ultimate on Warrior, someone. or no, it was a Macho Man just hit you with a flying elbow, and it's like, woo. <laughs> Chris Benoit used the people's bowflex as a finisher. Yeah, and he used his <laughs> noggin. He would do the flying headbutt. <laughs> I'm dead serious. That's why he's got the CTE. Yeah, I know. That's why his neck got compacted. He had no neck. It was like his head just melted into his shoulders. <laughs> it's like someone reset a Rock'em Sock'em robot. Wait, there's a security camera image? <laughs> this is this is great. We're wrestling in the snow and there's blood everywhere and my fingers are getting chewed and it won't let go. Eventually it just stopped and there I was, a ble- big bloody mess. That's this her? That's not, even, that's not even the fucking squirrel? That's her? That's so much blood, man. Dude, that's not, yeah, from a finger with a hit of vein? Yeah. Like, These squirrels are aggressively going after people. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Uh, I, when I went to UCF, squirrels would start chasing you. I think after they got hungry, because people like visitors would come in and feed them. Well, not visitors. Everybody would just feed them, and so they would just start chasing people. That's why you're not supposed to feed them, dude. <laughs> this quote is great. Crazy. I was screaming crazy, Wings. <laughs> is that a, a like a a, a a a witness? Jesus, I can't even talk. Someone that got a uh... Leisha Wang. The oh, she got jumped attacked. on her back and bit her arm. Damn, look at that bitch's finger, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like she's wearing fingerless gloves. So your dad is doing the Lord's work re- relocating these monsters. Yeah. yeah. Uh, damn it. He told me what I <laughs> remember again. It wasn't international. It was for something else, but it was, it was like... invasive, invasive squirrel extraction, something like that. Okay. Well, they're not known to have rabies, apparently, according to the CDC, so... But I can tell you this, motherfuckers are going to start being strapped now. They're going to be like, oh, wow, New York's getting real bad, huh? You got to be, yeah, the squirrels. I'm not worried oh. about getting robbed. I'm worried about getting rodent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. <clears throat> it says it's the aggressive behavior is concerning. I like the headline. It just said, blood everywhere. <laughs> oh, Wait, yeah. what happened to my story? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Steve. Hey, heartbreaking. No, this Saint, ain't it. Saint oh, Paul. I'm gonna I'm gonna pause and start again. Oh. Oh. I'm still oh. here. I just paused the screen share. Oh, I got you. Okay. okay, so we're still here. Okay. Well, like I guess that sounds like something that happened in Cyberpunk with the bugs. It was like just <laughs> the squirrels. The city animals aggressively attacking you, even though there are none. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, but there, there's obviously just, like stuff wrong with the cyberpunk thing. Like, like the cars. Like, if you push it off, like they they still try to like recorrect to get mm-hmm. back onto the road and shit, so that like it's not interactive. It's just kind of like uh, just kind of like ridden on rails sort of thing. But uh, like the <laughs> I got a I got what it's called the mantis blades, Davy, mm-hmm. where like, you can have blades coming out of your arms, and you just like run in and go cha cha cha. Well, like Brock. Yeah, Baraka kind of. or whatever. Banaka. <laughs> Banaka, that was it, yeah, from fucking Mortal Kombat. I thought it was Baraka. <laughs> no, it's Baraka. Banaka is that stuff that you sprayed in your mouth. Yeah, that's yeah. accurate. That, that Lloyd Christmas shot this way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it like goes that way. Yeah. Yeah. That's saccharin in it, though. It's how you get cancer. Oh, shit, really? Put my well, saccharin sweet, on your chin. Sweet, bro. <laughs> 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 oh, sack grin gives me a sack grin. <laughs> so, so this story is great. 
North Dakota man kicks in front door after getting no reply to Facebook friend request, please. say. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't South Park do an episode about this? A no-knock friend request. <laughs> Bre- breach bang, breach bang and friend. <laughs> I will not be ignored. <laughs> leave my ass on red. <laughs> yeah, I'll leave you in red. <laughs> Yeah, it's a follow Friday fresh bang. Oh, what a what a shock. It was the man who did this. Caleb. Just won't take no for an answer, will you, Caleb? His name's <laughs> Caleb? Oh, Jesus. You monster energy drinking probable rapist, Caleb. <laughs> if that's his mugshot, that's about right. <laughs> yeah. He's probably going to yep. get blasted in the face with a twisted tea. Yeah. <laughs> this sort of dude. It's like they're out of ocean spray. No, he's not. <laughs> he's not calm and cool enough for ocean spray. Look at him. Yeah, ocean spray for chill people. Oh man, his the friend he was going after his last name is William. Oh, no, it's Williams County. I thought it was a Williams. He was gonna like bother. I was like, I can relate to this. <laughs> My experience with his that ex coworker. I bet. I bet it was a girl. Probably. <laughs> Is that my friend request or I'm going to murder you? <laughs> Jesus <What>? Christ. <laughs> That's what I send to Booker's. I need <laughs> candy crush tickets, goddammit. <laughs> gotta Save send my me, life. Gotta send me some more fucking uh, sheep for my farm bill. I Whatever. can't get to the next candy zone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck at the poochu train. I, I need to get the cupcake ladder. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Matt. You play Candy Crush, so it's probably real, isn't it? Yeah, it is real. I think they've run out of. <laughs> I think they've run out of places to go. They're like the they're like the generator hasn't given us anything else. We can't go any further. <laughs> so he broke into the house of his ex coworker's father. He didn't even what? go to their house. He went to his father. Yeah, that's how you do it. You go straight to the father. You need to get your fucking daughter in line, sir. I just want to accept my goddamn friend request. I mean, these these are our fellow millennials. He probably he or she probably lives with their father. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. They're still paying off student loan debts. Exactly. I don't know. That guy doesn't look like he fucking went to college, though. So. That's what I'm saying. He has a fixed gear bike. Yeah, this is like the local auto zone. He's like, <laughs> she, she worked for like two weeks, and he's like, accept my goddamn friend request. <laughs> Look, I know you go out delivering parts all the time, but we're here, <laughs> all right? I thought we had a real connection when you're actually here. <laughs> Listen, even on your days off, I still felt like you were here. The manager, Jeff's like, look, Caleb, all right, that's the third goddamn driver we had to go through because you keep fucking with them. <laughs> they keep quitting, goddamn it. I, I would fire you, but your dad is my best friend, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Your dad owns the dealership, and we need to. I'm sorry, to sir. I won't do it again. And then he just goes to his ex coworker's father's house and just kicks in the door. Did he wave in the 4 <laughs> 4? <laughs> that's a big E line. No, that's classic. Wait, burglary? What was he stealing? <laughs> Terrorizing. Okay. Peace of mind. That's what he stole. Pleaded not guilty, even though there's fucking ring camera footage or whatever. Yeah, well, he's got his footprint on the front door, too. <laughs> Sir, is is this your Doc Martin print on the door? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that the end of the article? Who the fuck wrote this? Well, they just wanted to get to the meat and potatoes of this. I guess they just they don't even they don't even say what happened once he got in. I mean, <laughs> yeah, no. It's, well, it is North Dakota, so I don't know how many it was like fucking what three hundred thousand people that live in the whole state. I like that he gave him, like, five days before he executed his warrant, basically. Like, he t- <laughs> sent it on the 24th. Yeah. Think of how many houses you could kick in a day. That, that, is, that is so fucking premeditated at a point, though. It's like, I'm going to send it five days later. <laughs> yeah. We'll see what happens. <laughs> hey, well, it's North- you in, maybe you accept my friend request. Well, maybe it's North Dakota, Dakota, Stevie, so they had to use, you know, a fucking carrier pigeon. So it took a <laughs> while for the message to get there. I'm surprised he didn't just throw an elk through the window like they normally do. 
He's using Facebook. Really send a message. <laughs> yeah, they're on 56k. They're on dial-up Facebook. All right, it takes a while for a message to go through. Yeah. Just send, send a 10 point buck through. Really send yeah. a moosage. Yeah, Steve. Steve, <laughs> this buck, <laughs> this buck was corked. It was a warning buck. A warning buck. <laughs> Simpsons always with this. Oh, guy. okay. Yeah. All right, and this is the last one I got. Oh, I saw that. That this is awesome. Dog sized lizards also sounds like a band. Yeah, dog sized lizards. <laughs> you guys see dog sized lizards? I didn't think I liked swing music, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the kicking Davies. Yeah, <laughs> they're not cherry popping daddies, but it's dog sized lizards. They can throw down. That guy with the stand up bass really goes in. Well, it also doesn't mean a lot because like they're a wide range of dog sizes, like. <laughs> Yeah, my mom's Yorkie's tiny as fuck. She has a teacup Yorkie. It's like fucking size of a burrito. Like, what? But if you got a St. Bernard sized gecko, I'm going to be a little worried. <laughs> it's a little bigger, like a Great Dane. Just a gecko looks like he's looking for the weight room. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, he's, well, he's British for some reason, like the commercials. So just, <laughs> what, right? You know where the weight room is, mate. He just like walks in all fucking. He's got like bruising along his thighs and ass from where he was like shooting the steroids. Yeah. <laughs> like, like Larry the Lobster. <laughs> he just has like little pea sized like, balls. Yeah. <laughs> I, only, I only eat flies in the morning. They're good for protein post workout. <laughs> just, like, oh. just Gecko puts his sweatband on. He's like, all right. He's <laughs> getting a deadlift and did redo this. <laughs> <laughs> instead of he's, yeah he's training like rocky except he's punching like a, a rabbit just a rabbit meat hanging instead of like a cow <laughs> giant like, cricket <laughs> yeah giant cricket <laughs> like like starship trooper sized bugs <laughs> just got boxing gloves <laughs> <laughs> well they're omnivores so you don't have to worry about them you know i guess squirrels we thought they were omnivores too till they decided to tack fingers <laughs> I'm gonna tenderize this here cricket, Mick. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I can get up in them guts, Mick, with these yeah. fists of mine. They keep chirping. I can't concentrate. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Like the oh, the shit. brisk commercials. Like a squirrel, a squirrel wife, as Adrian is running down, just going squeak, 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 yeah. just going. A, a gecko just slithering up the steps of the courthouse and back. <laughs> Just like little tiny paws. <laughs> yeah, the squirrel's just squeaking. Don't do it, Rock. You're gonna die. <laughs> I heard these squirrels were getting pretty violent in the park. <laughs> so I didn't hear no bell. All right, so. The Argentine black and white tegu? Tegu? Sure. Is native yeah. to South America. Mm hmm. But National Geographic says the large lizards are taking over in the Florida Everglades and have popped up, or started popping up in Georgia, South Carolina, Alabama, <clears throat> Louisiana, and Texas. So, well, I mean, they're in the Everglades. That's, that's, you know, no one actually lives there. I mean, the people that do, but, they're like fucking wild people. You know what I mean? But here's the thing, man. These lizards are clearly, if they're going from the Everglades to, to Georgia and South Carolina, like, that's eight hours by car. Like, the... <laughs> Yeah. These lizards have to be like just going through the woods up and down the entirety of the state of Florida to get yeah. to these other states. Yeah, because they're not taking 95. They're not like fucking getting on the interstate and just <laughs> walking away. We got a lizard jam. <laughs> <laughs> lizard jam's a great concert. That's, that's where I saw these guys. <laughs> Uh, dude, I mean, people are just like on I four, and they're just seeing the lizards by the side of the overpass. Yeah, I was gonna say, is there a photo of them? Because like those things are pretty hefty, pretty hefty looking. They're, it's like a sleek iguana. Look at this little chunk. <laughs> Why is everybody making fun of me? He looks cute though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they fit any. They they eat anything that fits in their mouths. So I was like, all right, sounds like me when I'm hungry. Game on for ass. <laughs> With a new, new game show, can I eat it? They got that long tongue, too. They can really get up in there. <laughs> Hold on. It says biologists are concerned since they're voracious. I thought it was ferocious. Voracious. Oh, okay. I can't read. Voracious omnivores. Mm -hmm. So are they going to fuck up, like, 
the plants and shit? Is that they're going to eat everything. Well, they're omnivores. That just means they eat plants, I thought, right? No, omnivores eat everything. Oh, that's herbivores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So they eat meat, too, then. Yeah, which is why it's annoying when people, humans that are adult, are like, I'm a carnivore. It's like, you're not a carnivore. Yeah. <laughs> you're I mean, you would never shit. Yeah, <laughs> like, I mean, you could be on, like, the all-meat diet, but that's probably not healthy. No. Not at all. I was on that for a while, but there's only so many truck stops I can go to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eventually you start recycling glory holes. You're like, this is this is lost its this is lost its pep for me, <laughs> or like you know, its edge. <laughs> Slippy sphincter. Oh, they edge plenty. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's how you prime the pump, like getting it ready for uh, oil extraction. Anyway. <laughs> Look at this oh, guy holding shit. this giant chunk, boy. He's like, hey! I'm going to play it. Yeah. But I'm going to... Damn, that's a big lizard. Or I, I don't have the sound on, but... Yeah, I can't hear it either. Yeah, I was going... It almost it's looks probably, like a turtle right there. It's probably better for avoiding like, the copyright problems. It's like yeah. a human monster. Like, yeah, so we... But scroll down, there's that one. It looks like a... um. Look at him just. It looks like a giant tortoise. Who's in this thing? Oh yeah. He just. He's just like choking the shit out of it, like you just found the last Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> Give me like, that. What... <laughs> like what are you doing? <laughs> oh, you gotta bop him on the head. That's how he sticks his tongue out. <laughs> Yoshi. Oh, it looks. It looks like a turtle up there. Don't it? it look like a giant tortoise or something. Yeah. I, I I like that lizards sometimes they get the pink lips, which almost humanizes them a little bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's like, I want to eat some soup. <laughs> Ooh, that soup's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, minestrone? <laughs> yeah, wedding, an Italian wedding. Italian <laughs> wedding. You guys see the? In my uh, mind. You ever see the most powerful handgun in the world? <laughs> Uh, Desert Eagle? No, it's stronger have, than that. They have 50 cal Desert Eagles. It's my favorite is to watch Jesus. girls that are like 103 pounds shoot that shit. Yeah. Just watch the kick, like, break their wrists, basically. Sometimes they'll hit themselves in the face. And that's yeah, the they'll best. hold it in front of them, just like, whoop out. <laughs> it probably happened to me. I'm not going to lie. No, man, you could handle that. With those arms? <laughs> yeah, with those cannons. <laughs> it'd, be like you sh- it'd be like me shooting a 22. And your hand, you can do it, just be like one hand and be like, boom. And it's, it ain't nothing right here. <laughs> now, if you shot it with them scrawny ass legs of yours, them shits would be yeah. turned into spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, where's the kick? Where's the kick, Davey? Is this just a kick? <laughs> you promised me kick. Yeah, you get mad at me. <laughs> like, it's good for the chest to shoot 50 cows. <laughs> you gotta it's good get for my good, chest, not the other person. You gotta get a good base and hold yourself there, you know, nice frame. It's all about the base. <laughs> oh, is oh, that a forty-four magnum? Oh, no. it's a five hundred magnum. Okay, yeah, yeah, Smith. Was I that in the uh, Goldeneye? No. <laughs> the golden gun from Goldeneye? No, that was a little. Basically, gun. what it is. Oh well, yeah, look at that I'm fucking thing. For a giveaway, oh, yeah. of course, I have to say on YouTube, the YouTube has like this fucking to do big with this thing, giveaway. Man. Uh, they they're not sanctioning it. This YouTube doesn't want me to give you this gun. <laughs> they're not okay with it just so everyone knows <laughs> please don't kick in my door and asking for a friend request you know you so, some evidence at your trial after you shoot up someplace it's like yeah. a dirty hairy gun dude dirty harold make my day punk he's I got to shoot a watermelon right there we go no oh, it's a water <laughs> <drill>. <laughs> there's an apartment complex behind him <laughs> everywhere i actually just filmed a Guns versus slime video that was pretty fun and the guns versus slime. <laughs> Guess who wins? <laughs> With the gun. He's just in a oh, fetal. hot slime. <laughs> <laughs> there's a gun. There's a gun. Yeah. Pop quiz hot slime. There's a gun on your brow. What do you do? <laughs> Shoot it. Shoot the hostage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The conclusion was firing this 500 Smith and Wesson Magnum. I'll try to remember to post a card, um, or at least a link to that video in the. Description they just did this in an open field. Like, no... 
Yeah. If they drove to an open field, they're like, hey, this is a public park. It's fine. Yeah. There's a <laughs> lake on the other side. People fishing. Well, no, no big kids, deal. kids on a swing set behind them. Yeah. We'll just set these up here. I got my camera. I got my barrels. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, this uh, is not big enough. It. Rounds, 2,000 rounds of 500 Smith & Wesson, if anybody were ever so inclined, because that is such a powerful right. round. I'm curious as to whether or not it would shake this thing apart. But I got to say, it locks up tight like a bank vault, and it's built like a tank. So it wouldn't <laughs> I like it. It seems to got similes. Similes for days. <laughs> Well, that's every gun guy. They have like that stupid fucking vernacular over and over again. Yeah, they everyone's whimsical until they get shot, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, they're all like, "Man, you just see this thing? It's so sweet, you know." Then they're cleaning it one night and blow their leg off, and they're like, "Well, yeah, I don't like it like anymore." Then they it's like the boxer thing, like... the predator. No, not in the predator. Jackal. <laughs> it's like it's like every boxer until they get punched. They've all got so much strategy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to float like a butterfly. I'm going to sting like a bee. No, you're going to catch a two-piece in the first round and go down. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. <laughs> Shut up, Dad. It's going to rain haymakers on you. <laughs> you never breathed at me. You ever think about that? That is funny that you think about. Like, they go, like, the intro to, like, that. Like, UFC, they're all hype. And their hype men are hyping them up. And then they just go in there and get knocked out in, like, 10 seconds. And they're like, fuck, now we got to ride home with this motherfucker. Like... <laughs> Like, I, I thought well, you had him. It's just, like, did you? The guy you the whole time. 10 seconds of a fight. How, what do you mean? I didn't even get a chance to blink. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, I like when. If you saw the fight I saw, <laughs> you wouldn't believe in yourself either. <laughs> <laughs> well, they get rolled on. It's okay. The you weren't there for most of it. <laughs> you got knocked out. <laughs> yeah, the intro and like the weigh ins <laughs> lasted longer than the fight did. Like, yeah, <laughs> you took longer getting on <laughs> onto the ring. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're like you they, they getting onto the, the mat. Chorus of Enter Sandman trying to get to the octagon. <laughs> <laughs> and the Sandman found him. He entered yeah, all right. Um, the Sandman entered. He brought yeah. you a dream, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Exit light, all right. Your ass was knocked the fuck out. <laughs> Off the narrow of Pete. Peter oh, Pan. they look like Nerf bullets. Yeah, the brand Venture <laughs> Munitions ammo, which was a flat nose round, which would be ideal for something if you're going to carry it in grizzly country. You don't want a hollow point, but something with a lot of penetration, like a. So wait, if you're just going to carry it like on your person, you're going to just walk around with this giant pistol. Yeah, it just goes yeah. down your pants to your knee, like you just walk around. It's like it's it's a is that your 500 Smith & Wesson, or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> I can tell this, Dude, this guy's guy, armed. I don't like this guy. Dude, he's too... Well, it's it like, looks like he doesn't blink. No, he just he's too clean and cut. Like, he looks like he went to college and was like a pretty boy, and he's, I don't know. He's one of the lizards from the other video. Hold on, go up. Look at that guy's face on that one. He looks like Ernest. This one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's, he got a snub nose version. Yeah, he got the snub, dude. He's, a, he's like, open the safe, Vern. <laughs> Vern, Vern, Vern. I really like this gun. I, I just wish do. I could conceal it a Dude, little bit. Dude, that's like the Joker's better. gun from Batman. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the bang flag. Yeah, from the 88 Batman or whatever. Like, he's got the long barrel and he pulls it out of his pants, Jack Nicholson. <laughs> and he shoots the bat wing with it. And somehow that one bullet from that gun destroys <laughs> the bat wing. This dude's doing a full Plaxico Burrs, just putting it down his pants. Yeah, this is how, yeah. Sweatpants. That's how he shot himself. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> <That should be. laughs> Man. He's like, now I know what black people live like. <laughs> yeah, they walk around with this thing all day. This is inconvenient. So he's just gonna, he's making so, a sawed off revolver. There we go. Is that legal? And it's going to have a little, so as you can imagine, this is going to have a little bit more recoil than this has. But I'm really excited to shoot it. I've wanted to shoot this firearm since they created it. I have a Wait, why would you not have shot it already? Oh, he didn't cut it oh. off himself. It's like a, it was a joke. Hmm. Oh. oh. <laughs> All right, last shot. Last shot. All right, last shot. <laughs> So it's, it's the same thing every time he just knocks down the target with yeah. him. Uh, like, look, you done did it again. 
somehow shooting this tank round at a fucking steel target on on wood post knocks it down. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's just, more woods. Yeah, they're just <laughs> randomly. Park. They're just randomly in the middle of a field, dude. There's no. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing, Matt. You can't shoot that kind of gun at an indoor range, though. We'll go through well, the fucking not, wall. Then why is it available for purchase? <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> you can't go in and shoot it. I mean, you oh. can buy tanks. <laughs> like, so there's a lot of things that you can buy. Where's that guy? There's a there's a guy I saw shoot at an indoor range. I there it is. This dude. Oh, they're in <laughs> Russia though. They don't give a fuck over there. Five bullets, and that is because it is such a large round. I, I Russian. Okay, this is not. Forty is a six shooter. Come here, Gorbachev. Look We're going to you show you something. Ammunition. You've got so that's a forty-four uh, on the right. That's the uh, what is it? A uh, Saturday night special or whatever? A Saturday night fever, yeah. No, <laughs> and, <laughs> the dirty yeah, hairy gun. They call it. it like a Saturday special. What's, what's it called? Mister Saturday night. So Friday night special is just any cheap gun. Like it. So that's like when people talk about zip guns or pop guns, that's what they're talking about. Like shitty guns that are made of like. Oh, uh, I always metal. thought it was like the uh, 44 that Dirty Harry had. No, it, it he'll have like a 44 special or a 38 special, but like the Saturday night special, Friday night special, people change the day occasionally. It's just like a shitty cheap gun. Oh, uh, okay. Because you can yeah. just pick it up on like any Friday night. So I got so mad because I was recommending to someone that they get like a, a Ruger 22 for like personal defense because I'm like, it won't kick. It's not going to, you can shoot it indoors. It's not going to cause problems. Yeah, you can still hear. And they were like, oh, this is, this is just a pop gun. I'm like, this is not a pop gun because it's a <laughs> fucking Ruger. Like this is. <laughs> it's a real gun. Yeah. It's yeah. I'm like, like this. It's not a cap it's a gun. frame. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's just like twice the size of that, dude. Yeah. It's, it it's looks like it's a little bit bigger than a 50 cal. Oh yeah, it's it's a good bit bigger. Hollow points and with hollow points, many of you ask, it's simple. It's just the end of the bullet is hollow, and uh, you've got the flat. I like the explanation. Did you know that a hollow point has a hollow point? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, right. only a Russian would feel the need to explain that. Mm, a zombie clown. Mm-hmm. We're going to throw a hole in uh, Bozo here. All right, he never come to my fourth birthday. <laughs> he, he tricked me with bucket. I throw in bucket. I don't get prize. I never get family back from Siberia. I only get cookie. I wanted. I wanted food for family. Yeah. They only I practice me... with. I practice with bucket for a year and a half. You know how hard to get bucket in Moscow. <laughs> Yeah, that's toilet. You know how hard it is. <laughs> family toilet. That's my Practice family toilet. Bucket. My yeah. my grandpa inherited bucket to be janitor the Kremlin. He said he said good enough for spider ring or pencil eraser top. That's it. I couldn't get stuff animal. <laughs> Bozo clown flick, flick cigarette away and he laugh. He laugh at me. <laughs> He squeezed nose and only sad noise. <laughs> no honk silliness, only sad. Clown was like, clearly he a boy, because you are not a man today. <laughs> I have to work the salt mine inside with clown nose. Then send to Siberia with how you say pussy right. <laughs> I don't even think they have clowns in Russia, to be honest with you. <laughs> Like, can you imagine being like Russian and being a uh, like a, a kids party clown? Like, they you would get like zero respect. The men would just spit on you as you walked by and shit. <laughs> in in like, Soviet Russia, clown is appointment position from Kremlin. Yeah. <laughs> John Malkovich no, just points you. Yeah, now no. I'll list you jokes. Joke one. <laughs> Putin Putin issues clown edicts. <laughs> First trick, rabbit out of hands. Trick two, cards. <laughs> I found oh. enemy of state. Enemy of state to be sentenced to clown. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, uh, that game I play, <laughs> EFT, Escape from Tarkov, is made by Russians. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, That's like, um, Nikita, like, one of the guys that makes it, he's, like, really big in the community. And, like, he'll do podcasts, and you can barely understand him because he's, like, speaking, you know, broken English. Yeah. But it's very accurate. I think we're nailing him. That's kind of what it sounds like when he hits his stuff. Uh, we're in Russia. We, we have vodka. We drink. Uh, yes. 
Just get to the shoot, shoot, bang, bang. Oh, I'm showing you. He's got to load it because we got to see that happen. Jeez. Okay, okay so it'll go. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Super Sergio Kart. It's going to blow a hole in it. Like, uh, <laughs> Super Sergio Kart. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That is insane. I didn't think you could shoot that gun indoors. Let's we'll just go. Yeah, to the clowns wall. are invincible in Russia, by the way. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, like the recoil is so severe, he has to like deliberately put it back. <laughs> like slowly every single too. shot. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, one more round. Come on, here's here's the money shot. Does he show the target? I want to see what yeah. Bozo looks like. Yeah. He missed one, you bitch. <laughs> and right here, these are the 44 Magnums. These are the 500. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. My hand hurts like hell. And, uh... <laughs> My hand hurts like hell. It's the same thing as when he cracks his wife. Yeah, this like, video has fucking 22 million views. My head hurts like crazy. <laughs> See the first one to make this shit? It was from 2011. He's got yeah. 22 million views. FPS Russia, man. First person shooter. Oh, uh, yeah. Sure. Doesn't he have like a whole bunch of <laughs> Maddie. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, from that movie. Yeah, that's right. When they're doing the, the kick or whatever. Oh, look at the Vector. Did the Vector 45. Could you please do the ray gun? <laughs> <laughs> my friend. My friend has one. Yeah. It's so much fucking powerful. My friend <laughs> has an uh, American drone. We, we stopped by wedding. <laughs> Jesus. We stopped by wedding on the way home. Yeah. Does anyone good. object? I don't, but my Smith and Wesson does. <laughs> <laughs> Smith and Wesson have things to say about wedding. All right, I think we've done like an hour and uh, forty minutes. So Jesus Christ! I don't know what we're at to be honest with you, but well, let's just want. call it. You got plugs, David Wavis? I do. Um, January twenty fourth. No, that's also. 20th and 21st. Maybe. Yeah, 20th and 21st, Rosebud Baker, Sod Splitters, and then Sunday, 24th, Stevie, a.k.a. Gwyneth, Paltrow, Gwendolyn, <laughs> a.k.a. Gwendolyn Smythe, a.k.a. Apple, um, <laughs> a.k.a. 100% that bitch, was going to torture me. Smythe. Yeah, sorry. She's going to torture me. <sighs> well, it, it's the wheel of torture. I don't know. I could beat Ricky. It could happen. You know, I feel like the kid from Angels in the Outfit. It could, it could happen. It's not gonna happen, but it could. And either way, my shirt's probably gonna come off, so people will see that. Hell That's yeah. what you want to be there for. Yeah, you don't want to miss the the bear's yeah. belly. I'd advance want... every round for that to be the finale. You want to see the wax on the bear's mark? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. I'm gonna douse my. I'm gonna grease myself up under the shirt too. <laughs> I'm kidding. Dude, I'm I have a tearaway one. shirt, buddy. 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 All right. Yeah, um, tearaway, tearaway bear shirt. Single. A tearaway shirt. A bear away shirt. <laughs> a bear away. <laughs> uh, January fifteenth, I'll be at some venue in New Smyrna Beach. I'm not sure where. Mm. Doing a spotty spot. Um, the twenty third, I'll be at the Whiskey, which is in Seminole, Florida, with Pat Largo and JJ Curry. Thank you. Nice, nice. And then. Um, the 24th, obviously, the Wheel of Torture show. Please buy tickets early. Please. Ooh. For the love of Christ. Ooh. It helps a lot. Um, and then, uh, oh, uh, end of January. Let me see. January 29th and January 30th, I'll be hosting for Ron Feingold at Snappers. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Maddie, what do you got? Uh, I've got to hit the subscribe and like buttons for How to Die Alone. Oh, I forgot to so do that. You can uh, <laughs> check us out every Wednesday whenever we come out. So, you know, uh, comment. When are you going to come out? Like, yeah. subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Never! Share with your friends. Play it at the office Christmas party. 
Yeah, do what uh, do what oh, some already... people do and uh, listen to us while you go to sleep. So you can have uh, so you can have the uh, the uh, the good dreams. So yeah. as we kick your door in if you don't uh, request us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Bye guys. Bye, Bye everybody. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down there. Also hit that notification bell so you can get updated when we put out new content every week. Every Tuesday, Topical Depression. Every Wednesday, the podcast comes out. Audio is available on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher Radio, Spotify. Or you can watch another one of these videos. Maybe this one here. Thank you for watching.